Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's an interesting question that a lot of people are talking about. A mom, stumped by her first grader's homework, posted the problem online to ask for help, as reported by Today.com. Which word is the odd one out? The choices are friend, desk, toothbrush, egg, and silver. Explain why. I will say, at first reaction, this question puzzled me because none of the answer choices immediately jumped out. Usually, questions of this type are more obvious. Look at this example of a question. Which is the odd one out? Apple, banana, cashew, orange, and strawberry. It seems obvious that cashew would be the correct answer because all the other choices, apple, banana, orange, and strawberry, are fruits. Or take a look at this question, 1, 3, 6, 5, and 9. It would seem obvious that 6 is the correct answer because all the other numbers, 1, 3, 5, and 9, are odd numbers. There are other justifications, but these are at least the obvious choices. So let's take a look at our question again. So I thought about this a little more, and ultimately I came up with this line of reasoning. I thought that friend, desk, toothbrush, and egg were all nouns. Whereas silver, I would usually think about the color, and silver would be an adjective, like that car is silver. So I wondered, is my reasoning valid? I thought to ask artificial intelligence. After all, Models like ChatGPT and Google Bard are based on large language models, so they were probably designed precisely to answer this type of language question. So here's the answers they gave. ChatGPT said the word silver is the odd one out because it is a metal, while the other words, friend, desk, toothbrush, egg, are not metals, but rather represent different types of items. Google Bard said the odd one out is silver. Here's why. Friend, desk, toothbrush, and egg are all concrete nouns that represent physical objects. Silver is an abstract noun that represents a concept rather than a physical object. Therefore, silver is the odd one out because it belongs to a different grammatical category than the other words. Some people put comments that all of the other items are countable objects whereas silver is an uncountable object. Same idea. So what was the correct answer? It turns out silver was the intended answer. The class had just done a lesson on nouns, and silver being an adjective was the odd one out. But is that the only possible answer? Do most people even think that silver is the correct answer? I put a poll on YouTube and an astounding 50,000 of you replied. And here are the results. Almost 50% of people said that friend was the odd one out. This was followed by the choice of silver at 23%, then toothbrush at 15%, egg at 11%, and desk at 3%. So what are the justifications for these answers? I was not able to go through all of the comments, which were over 2,000, and I want to thank every single person who provided a comment. But I did try to read as many as possible to understand the explanations. I will give a special thanks to Javin Leung 3433 who summarized many of the answers in a comment. So let's take a look at the answer choice of friend. Why would friend be the odd one out? All of the other answers are physical objects that can be purchased or possessed. On the other hand, friend is a concept that describes a relationship between people. You might say that friend is something that you cannot purchase, or friend would depend on feelings. It's something that can change. As physical objects, a desk will be a desk, a toothbrush is a toothbrush, an egg will be an egg. Silver is bound to be silver. But the same person can be a friend one day and not a friend the other day. Next answer choice, egg. Let's take a look at the number of letters in each word. 
Friend has six, Desk has four, Toothbrush 10, and Silver six. Egg has only three letters. So if you look at this, Egg is the only choice that has an odd number of letters, whereas all of the other choices have an even number of letters. Egg with three letters being odd is literally the odd one out. Toothbrush was also a popular answer. In a way, toothbrush stands out because it is the longest answer choice. It is also the only word in the list without the letter E, which is the most common letter in the English language. It is also the only word that's a compound word because it is made up of tooth and brush. So there are good reasons to say that toothbrush is the odd one out. Finally, we have the answer choice of desk. Only 3% 3 3 even thought that this could be the odd one out. So it's kind of interesting that when we're going through this list, everyone's like, oh yeah, desk will fit in with this categorization, whatever they thought. But in that way, there is something different about desk. All of the other options have obvious reasons for being the odd one out. The fact that desk jumps out to no one makes desk an odd choice. But there's also a deeper mathematical answer, courtesy of James O-YU-9SP. So a square number is the product of an integer with itself. Like one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, 4 squared is 16. But why is it called square? What does a geometric square have to do with the square number? The name square number comes from the fact that you can arrange a square number of points into a square shape. So we can have 1 as a square shape, 2 by 2 is 4, 3 by 3 is 9, 4 by 4 is 16, and so on. So you could have this concept for other shapes. There's a similar concept of a triangular number. So these are points that can be arranged into a triangular array. Triangular numbers also correspond to the sum of the whole numbers going from one to n. So they come up frequently in mathematics. So the first few triangular numbers are one, three, six, 10. And there's a general formula of n multiplied by n plus one all over two. So now let's take a look at the number of letters in each word again. Friend has six, desk has four, toothbrush 10, egg three, and silver six. So all of the choices are triangular numbers, except for desk, which is four, and that is a square number. So you could say desk is the odd one out because all of the other choices have a number of letters that's a triangular number, but desk being at four is not a triangular number of letters. So in conclusion, I think there are valid reasons for picking any of the options. And the important point is the reasoning behind the choice rather than just trying to select the answer that was intended. So I ask you, what answer would you have put? Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.